Alright, so I took this Pelican 1615 case on a trip. I uh, just got back from it yesterday. Um, I flew from Michigan down to uh, Mexico for, for work in GM plant, doing controls work. And this was my checked bag. Um, currently, as it sits uh, before I open it, um, it's 57 pounds, so that's the whole thing with everything that's inside of it, case and all. This is the Pelican Air version of that case, um, so it's lighter. Um, I think they took one of the latches off the front here to make it lighter, and they went for single wheels instead of dual wheels. Um, so this one's made for air travel. So on the outside, um, it's got a couple scuffs on it. So this is just one round trip down there and back. So it went through, uh, let's see, one, two, four different airports. Um, so they got recycled a few times, you know, going through all their systems. Um, so I got a couple scuffs there, it's a little rough here. So overall, the, the box did a really good job holding up. There's some scuff marks on the outside, a little abrasion on the outside here, uh, more scuff marks up here. There's, most of it's just rubbing right off, so nothing to be really concerned about. On this side, there's a little bit of a gouge here, so it hit something pretty hard there, but it's just the surface, like it's it's coming off, so it, it rubbed some of the plastic off dented it there but nothing like nothing looks stressed like it's gonna snap off um, the handle works awesome on the back side with the hinges here you can see a couple nicks here or just hitting bumpers or whatever inside when they're sorting the luggage um, overall the, the box held up great so so far so good so if I open it up so it's, it's pretty heavy at 57 pounds that's Flew United down, and they consider this overweight. And then American Airlines coming back, and they don't. So I had to pay a premium there on the way down, but not on the way back. Um, so inside, oh, so I should talk about this. So I always throw Velcro straps on, just as like a secondary backup if the latches let go for some reason. Uh, but this is just Velcro, so the TSA can take it off if you need to. So inside. Let me show you what's inside there. So inside, I have it cut so I got clothes on this side and all of like my bathroom stuff and my tools and stuff are on this side. So if I push this back, we'll take some of this stuff out. So here's my shower stuff. I got an extra little drawstring backpack so I can throw some stuff in there. Wipes in case you got bad toilet paper. Uh, power cord so I can use that for power on site um, while I'm plugging my laptop and stuff in. Um, I need a hard hat sometimes depending on what I'm doing at GM so I got a hard hat and I stuff my safety vest inside. Uh, so, this up. so I got a small little tool bag here so this one I put, make sure you can see it. There we go. So this one I put all of my communication cables and stuff in, so I get to open up here. So that's got Ethernet cables, a couple adapters, and I put like my pocket utility knives and stuff in there. But mainly my communication cables stay in this container. I uh, got some medicine stuff in here, just daily vitamins and stuff. Toothbrush and bag. I got deodorant, spray deodorant. Um, don't like the stick stuff because sometimes that degrades. Um, Got my steel toe boots in here, so this worked out pretty good. So, to, depending on if you got, um, you know, work with uh, with overhead stuff, or you're working in uh, on a project that's being installed at GM, they'll require steel toe boots. That's what I got these. These are just some keen ones. Um, I'll probably change those later. They're starting to crack around the edges, but I've had these for a few years now. Um, but inside, I I use the space inside, so I got contact stuff shoved in that one this one I had a little tough book here so I carried some memory devices down with me I've installed those so I didn't need them so I need to bring the container back so I just shoved it in here then I got some lotion for dry hands and stuff in there so that's just shoved it. but the lotion bottle is glass that's why I used it in this boot this is a glass container and it worked out good so I have steel toe boots with some stuff inside 
got another tough built box. So this one has all my hand tools in it. Um, and I went over another video um, of what was in my um, my backpack that I carry with. And these are all the tools that I use my backpack, my tough built laptop backpack. And I use my tough built laptop backpack as my carry on. And so you can't have, you don't want all those tools in there. Um, so I put them in this container. So these are all the same tools that were in that backpack. If you want to look at that video. Get that out of there. Uh, I got my belt here. I got sock shoes. So this is the secondary shoes that I can wear and just throw on my feet and they're nice. I like those. And they pack up really small. But that's it for, you know, tools wise and stuff. So I kept that on this side and this side. I have several pairs of pants, several shirts, socks, underwear. Um, I had like one pair of sweatpants as a backup and a few other things, work shirts and stuff like that. But that's what I use this box for. Um, this is the first time using this Pelican case before. I was using um, a rigid job site box, that their longer one. And that one got bashed around a few times and some parts broke off of it. So I went to this Pelican one that's designed for air travel and I'm very happy with it so far. Um, so hopefully this answers some of your questions or anything like that. Um, let's see if I can make it a little brighter in there. Yeah, so this, this case worked out really good. I'm pretty happy with it and it held all my stuff, took the abuse, and um, I didn't use all my clothes, so maybe next time I won't put as many clothes in there and bring a few more things. But pretty much all the tools and stuff that I brought with me that I needed, I had with it, so I didn't have to compromise there. Um, it's nice that this lid has... Um, about two inches of depth to it so you can pack your stuff above the edge here but you just got to be careful to retuck it in so it doesn't compromise the seal um, so just make sure you tuck in there and then it squishes down and latches up really nice um, oh I did have a weird experience um, with funny thing is when I got down there I had my lotion in this shoe and because of the pressure change in the plane, it actually forced some of the lotion out. So uh, next time I will be putting this in its own plastic bag uh, so I don't have to clean lotion out of the bottom of my shoe. Uh, so this, anything you're putting in inside here, so even like um, your shampoo and stuff, I would recommend like before you pack your stuff, squish it a little bit and then reseal it. So that way it's got almost a little bit of vacuum in it so it doesn't squish out any um, soap or anything onto your stuff so just remember that when you're packing your stuff for air travel that the pressures change and there's a valve on this case here so it equalizes so if the pressure increases out here it goes inside here right or vice versa so when they depressurize everything I think when you go from high to low um, your stuff will start squishing the material out you know if your soap or your shampoo or your lotion or something like this it, when that pressure changes, it'll create a high pressure inside and then start pushing all your stuff out of it. So just keep that in mind when you're packing. Um, hopefully this helps you out and uh, have a good day. All right, bye.